Hi, hello, welcome to VHDL Basics. What is the difference between synthesable HDL and non synthesizable HDL? In this video, we are going to discuss about this. First of all, we need to know what is synthesizable HDL. A synthesizable hardware description language is a subset of hardware description language such as VHDL or Verilog that is specifically designed and used for describing digital hardware in a way that can be ECD and reliably synthesized into an actual hardware implementation. Synthesizable HDL code describes the desired behavior of a digital circuit at a high level, allowing it to be automatically converted into a netlist of gates and preplops, which can be then physically re realized on the programmable logic device, application specific integrated circuit, and or field programmable gate array. What is the key characteristics of synthesizable HDL code? Structural abstraction. Synthesizable code primarily focus on the structural description of the hardware, defining how various component such as logic gates, flip-flops, multiplexer, etc. are interconnected in to achieve the desired functionality. It doesn't include high-level behavior structure like if-else statement or loop that are typically used for simulation but not suitable for direct synthesis. Clocking and synchronization. Synthesizable code includes proper clocking and synchronization technique to ensure that design can meet timing requirements and operates reliably in a digital system. Finite state machine. Synthesizable code often used finite state machine to describe control logic, state transition, and sequential behavior. These state machines are well defined and can be synthesized into flip-flop and combinational logic. Bit-level control. Synthesizable code is often written at a bit level or register transfer level RTL level where designer explicitly specify how data flow through the hardware including the use of register for storage and transfer no simulation specific constructs Synthesizable code avoids constructs that are specific to simulation or test benches. For example, it doesn't include features like weight statement or asset statement that are used for simulation, debugging, and verification. Static timing analysis compatibility. The code is written in a way that facilitate STA allowing tool to analyze and ensure that design meet timing requirements for clock to queue delays, setup times, and old violation. Efficiency and optimization. Designer often use coding style and techniques that are conductive to efficient synthesis, such as minimizing logic levels, reducing fan out, and using library cell effectively. Modularity. Designs are typically broken into a modular blocks that can be easily synthesized and interconnected. This modularity facilitates easier debugging, testing, and maintenance of the design. It's important to note that not all code written in the HDL is synthesizable. Many constructs in HDLs are meant for simulation and not suitable for direct synthesis. Therefore, writing synthesable HDL code, designers need to be aware of synthesis tools capability and constraint and adhere to guidelines and coding style that are compatible with hardware synthesis. Now, we need to know about non-synthesable HDL. 
what is non synthesable H uh, HDL refers to a subset of hardware description language such as VHDL or Verilog that is used primarily for modeling and simulation of digital hardware design rather than specifying how the hardware should be physically implemented. Non synthesable HDL code is used in test benches and simulation environment to create models of digital circuit for various purposes including functional verification, testing and debugging. However, some char characteristics and common use of non synthesable HDL. Behavior modeling Non synthesable HDL is often used for behavioral modeling that where the focus is on describing the functionality and behavior of the digital circuit without specifying the low level details of how the hardware should be constructed. Simulation constructs. It includes constructs that are specific to simulation and verification, such as if else statement, loop, delay, and assertion. These constructs allow designer to create test scenario and check the correctness of the design's functionality under different conditions. Test benches. Non-synthesizable HDL code is commonly used in test benches, which are environment create for testing and validating the digital design. Test benches use non-synthesizable constructs to generate input stimulus, monitor output and compare expect result with actual result during the simulation. Timing Abstraction Non-synthesizable code often abstracts away timing details that are critical in synthesizable code. This allows designer to focus on functional verification without being constrained by the real-world timing of the hardware. <laughs> Debugging and verification. Designer use non-synthesizable code to debug and verify their design. They can create scenarios to test different corner case, validate that design behaves correctly and identify and fix any functional issue before attempting hardware synthesis. Transaction level modeling. Non-synthesizable code can be used for transaction level modeling where high level inter interaction between components are described such as data transfers between modules, communication protocols or system level behavior. Performance analyze. It is often used for performance analyze and profiling of digital system allowing designers to assert Assess the system's performance characteristics without considering the implementation details. Prototyping and rapid development. Non synthesizable code can be used for rapid prototyping and iteration development, iterative development of digital design, allowing designers to quickly test and refine their ideas before committing to hardware implementation. It's important to note that while non-synthesizable code is value for simulation and verification, it cannot be directly synthesized into hardware. Synthesizable HDL are previously discussed is specifically designed for the synthesis process, where it is translated into gate level description that can be physically implemented in hardware. Non-synthesizable code is crucial part of overall hardware design process working in conjunction with synthesizable code to ensure the correctness and functionality of the digital design. Now moving into the difference between synthesizable and non-synthesizable. Synthesizable HDL and non-synthesizable HDL several severe Difference purpose in the design and for verification of the digital hardware. Here are the key difference between these two. Purpose and usage. Synthesizable HDL is used for describing digital hardware in a way that can be automatically synthesized into an actual hardware implementation. Its primary purpose is to define the structural and logical elements of the hardware design that can be physically realized on the PLD, ASIC, 
and FPGA. Non-synthesizable HDL Non-synthesizable HDL is used for simulation and verification of digital design. It is intended for modeling and simulating the behavior of the digital circuit rather than specifying that that uh, how that circuit should be implemented. Non-synthesizable constructs are typically used in test benches to create stimulus for simulation and to check the functionality and correctness of the design. Correctness of the design. Level of abstraction. Synthesizable code focus on the structural description of hardware, defining how components are interconnected to achieve specific functionality. It operates at the register transfer level or lower, specifying that how data flow through the hardware using gates, flip-flops, multiplexer, and other low-level elements. Non-synthesizable code can operate at various level of abstraction, including high-level behavior description, algorithmic description, and transaction-level modeling. It often includes constructs like if-else statement loop, delays, and assertion that are not directly mappable to hardware component. Clock and synchronization. Synthesizable code includes proper clocking and synchronization technique to ensure that design can be met timing requirements and operate reliably in the digital system. It explicitly defines clock domain and edge trigger behavior. Non-synthesizable HDL code may not pay as much attention to clocking and synchronization since it is primary goal is to stimulate and verify functionality. It may use simulation specific constructs that do not represent real hardware behavior. STA. Synthesizable code is written with STA capability, compatibility in mind, allowing tools to perform STA to ensure that the design meets timing requirements. Non-synthesizable code may not be suitable for STA because it contains simulation specific construct and behavior that are not intended for real-time hardware. Efficiency and optimization. Synthesizable code is often written to be efficient in terms of hardware resource usage and power consumption. Designers aim to minimize logic level and optimize for hardware synthesis. Non-synthesizable HDL code prioritized clarity and ease of the modeling for simulation and verification, efficiency and optimization for hardware are typically secondary concerns. In summary, synthesizable HDL is used for describing hardware that can be directly synthesized into physical component, focusing on low-level structural detail and timing consideration. Non-synthesizable HDL on the other end is used for simulation and verification, allowing designers to model and test the functionality of digital circuit at various level of abstraction without being constrained by the requirement of hardware synthesis. Hope you understand the difference between synthesizable and non-synthesizable HDL. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos.